So I was on r slash gaming. <laughs> we can blow through a quick rack. I was on r slash gaming. And I saw someone talking about Ubisoft revoking keys for the crew. For people that don't know, the crew is a an online only racing MMO. They just flat out. That's all it is. I loved it. I had it. It was super cool. You had a shrunken down version of the United States as the map. So you could literally drive from New York all the way to Los Angeles. And it felt like a big hour and a half long road trip. It was really fun. It was really cool. Well, they shut the servers down. And this opened up a discussion about... <sighs> digital only and uh, ownership. Yes. A racist game. I mean, racy. Dude, I'm, I'm like a part-time hobbyist racist, if anything. Love Euro Truck Sim. Good, good, strong. <laughs> I'm not going to lean that far into that bit. Ooh. Stream filter almost turned off for a second. <laughs> like y'all y'all gonna let me in stream earlier just got M msg for 50 percent discount for close racing track what what's msg metal solid gear or like the the flavoring msg um no so it brought up a discussion of like ownership of digital games and i'm in this weird place with this in particular because with the crew I, it's okay. Here's, here's my opinion, like flat out. If you're going to have an online only game like this or like a, a COD game, right? And it's a notorious service or type of service that has in the past been exclusively peer to peer, meaning that if you have three consoles, they can be the server and you make that franchise or that service a server based game. Upon the end date of those servers, you should have a patch ready that you can send out that will turn off the servers as a requirement and open up the game to be peer-to-peer -peer hosted. And then you just let people m do whatever they want with it. For games like The Crew, I think that still should apply. It should be a similar situation where, yeah, there should have been a patch that has private servers available, available to be hosted by somebody or something. And I believe fans are working on an emulated server so that you can still play the game. That's just what I've seen in some comments. But Ubisoft has been doing this a lot recently. For people that don't know, Ubisoft had a bit of drama a while back when they announced that, hey, if you don't log into your Uplay account for X amount of time, you'll just be deleted, which means you're gonna lose access to all the games you bought on our service, period. Even if you come back and reactivate your account. Well, you can't reactivate it because they're going to delete it. But you know what I mean? If you come back and make a new account, which is, I'm, I'm sorry, dog shit. If you're running an online service and you're a company like U Ubisoft that has that much money, you can afford to have the dot text file that has this, the account information stored on it in your database. You can afford it. To say that they have to delete the accounts to save server space is insane. That's asinine. But I digress. I it, This put me in a weird chain of thoughts is how I'll describe them because I relayed this back to younger me in my head when I played a game called SOCOM Confrontation on the PlayStation 3. Deleted. Insert <laughs> Japanese crying guy. <laughs> SOCOM Confrontation was an online third-person tactical shooter on the PlayStation 3 that was online only, which meant when the servers went down, you literally couldn't play it anymore. Period. Full stop. And it's the earliest example of that in a not MMO structured game that I can think of where that happened. And I don't remember having a huge problem with that. And I don't have a huge problem with it with the crew in the way that I think a lot of people are. My problem with it is SOCOM Confrontation was a game that the server shut down when the player base moved on. So it shut down like 
in the way that Counter-Strike became Counter-Strike 2 sort of thing. SOCOM Confrontation became SOCOM 4. Now we can talk about how much worse SOCOM 4 is in the Confrontation and how much worse Confrontation was than 4 and whatever all day. But I feel like it's the perspective that matters in that case. And the perspective being, is it okay for this game to shut down? Is there a successor? And the successor to the crew is the crew two, but the crew two is such a different game from, from the crew one and crew motorsport is a new game. They're working out that working on that is very different from the crew two. I don't know how everybody else feels about this circumstance that keeps occurring of devs just going, ah, yeah, just shut the servers down. And now in taking keys away that you have bought access to, even if you can't play it anymore, I'm sorry, having it on the on the page of a game that you did have in the past gives you the memory. It gives you the portal to actually recover those memories instantaneously. It's a tangible thing. Yes, it's digital, but it's it's something that meant something to somebody and taking it from people's accounts is gross, disgusting and negligent. It's negligent to your fans. I say as I just completely nuked about a year's worth of stream content. It's available if you subscribe, by the way, but <laughs> that that's content that does not represent the channel anymore. Here's a cool video of future servers can be. Oh, is this the Star Citizen thing? We will watch this at some point, I promise. If this is the server. Yes, it is. Okay, it's server meshing. We will watch that at some point. We're not doing it tonight, but we will watch that at some point. But uh, I don't know. Digital games are fucked. Buy physical when you can is my 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 opinion still. I'm a PC player primarily, so I don't have that option. But I trust Steam in their promise to remove DRM if Steam servers go down. And I trust that I will have access to a good, 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 not insignificant chunk of my library because I bought Steam. I bought digital through this platform. But, but if it's on console, I hate buying digital. I'd rather have physical. We'll be doing FF tomorrow and talking about the shit show that is the Heidel and Zodiac statues that have been shattering on delivery and how Square can't do, do figures right. And I have a webcam set up so I can show you guys all of my figures and explain why Square sucks so much ass. Have a good night, guys. Appreciate y'all. Bye.